right? So I read you my glow up diary and then it would be broken up into chapters. So then I would open up. So then I say chapter one, my food addiction story. And then, and then the music goes, hold on. burn my finger because I have my candle going. Yes, I hope you guys enjoy the merch. It's really freaking cute. Okay, literally, you're going to be obsessed with the phone case. The phone On the back of the phone case, it's a moon and star design, and the quote says, are you who you want to be? I'm so freaking obsessed with my phone case because it is such a good reminder. As soon as I read that quote, are you who you want to be? And I put it in all caps, like it's screaming at you. Are you who you want to be? And the journal also says that. So it's just such a good reminder. And then the sweater, sweater is really, really cute too. It says human being, 100% organic, keep hydrated, handle with care. It's really cute. And it's like a simple design. Anyway, um, that's not really what I was trying to say though. What I'm trying to say is, um, will it have the iPhone 7 plus size? Yep, it has all... I'm pretty, it definitely has all iPhones. I think it has a lot of other phones too. I don't really know yet. Anyway, um, but my question is for the editing. Um, yes, I, I designed all of it. So this is all my designs for the merch. Anyway, so my question is, I, okay, we don't really talk about merch just yet because I, I really need to talk about the editing and I kind of need help. Um, do you think that's interesting to break it up into chapters? The reason I got the idea for the chapters was because, um, 19, hold on. Give me a quick second here. Oh my gosh. Do you guys want to hear one of the other songs for episode one? I'm just going to like tell you it's called this one. So basically at the end of the episode, I discover, I read this book and I, my whole life changes. You know, when you read like a book and it like transforms your entire mindset, this is the, this. all my life, ages one through 19, I have been weak. It's so good. Chapter four. The, the comeback. Anyway. Anyway, okay, so I'm so sorry I keep spoiling. I think breaking it up is so smart and organized. Okay, so you guys, would it be cool to break it up into chapters? Damn, I need to be smarter about this though because this is going to be tough. Like, chapter one would be the food addiction. But see, what does anyone have any clever names for chapter one? I think, okay, okay, base, I like the chapters because it's more organized, but you should show the diary so people know. Oh, okay, so, okay, so I'll be reading it. So I'll say chapter one. Let me think real fast. Basically, chapter one is the food addiction story, right? And then I think chapter two is, um, chapter two is, you know, the, okay, but here's the thing, okay. I'm going to just spoil, but please help me out. I would like really appreciate it. Um, chapter one. Okay. I need to let this like light down because it's kind of a lot. Anyway. So you should just release it entirely. No, call it the food addiction. Too many people don't know the good can be an addiction. Living to eat chapter one addiction. Well, actually, it wasn't just food addiction. I would say it's more of a sugar addiction. It was both food and sugar addiction. Flip the page every time you change chapters. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm just going to write that down. Flip page when you change chapters. Yeah, if you guys have ideas, like cute little ideas like that, definitely comment them. Chapter one, how it started. Chapter one, addiction. Slave of my addiction. Okay, anyway, so chapter one is food addiction. Okay, hold on. So I'm just going to like break it down for you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so basically what happens is I talk about my addiction to food, right? How I say that many binge eaters, like they have a flirtation with restriction at first. And so season one, I restricted. And I think that what ended up happening was that I experienced terrible pain when I restricted myself so much and I never wanted to feel that again. And so I went way on the opposite end 
and I didn't restrict at all. And I would just go with, like, I, I got like anxiety, like when I would get hungry or something. And, it, and honestly, but it got so bad to the point where eating was like a necessity. Like I had to be eating every one to two hours. Otherwise I couldn't function. Like that was, it was really bad. And then basically talking about what happened. So I, do you guys think I should talk about this? Let me know if I should talk about this. But basically what happened was I went on a date with a guy and oh my gosh, it's a really sad scene. It, it shows how screwed up I was. Like literally editing this episode made me realize, holy shit, I was really screwed up back then. And I really hope that some people, did, do you, okay, I'm just gonna like spoil some things for you guys right now. Let me know if you think I should leave all this in. This is like freaking raw stuff. So first of all, I'm just saying that I'm 19. Oh, hold myself on. from the world. Okay. I, I literally want to isolate myself from the world. Okay. That's not an indicator of how low I feel now. The fact that I keep, don't even want to FaceTime people. Yeah, that is a very, very selfish thing. God gives you life and opportunities, and you've been giving more opportunities than many. And yet, you just want to go hide under a rock. No, I don't. I also don't want to do that. I don't want to continue hiding. This is so that's raw. I'm so sick of it. Um, I'm just saying that that's when I realized this was a low is when I was so embarrassed that I don't want to FaceTime. I'm kind of shocked that I let myself get to this point. I mean, this is so embarrassing to admit. I would never that I could abuse my body like this. It's like I don't it's like I don't even care. At least I didn't before. You still know. I do care. This is so raw. Like Why? Because. Be honest with yourself. Looking at myself in the mirror, thinking. Who is he? That was my dad. I was having a conversation with my dad and I decided to record it. Oh, this is so sad. Listen to this. Dad, is this what growing up means? more sad days than happy days oh my gosh i can't this episode is so sad i i like honestly if you don't feel like watching someone like go through an addiction just don't <laughs> this episode is so terrible okay and then this is the last thing i was gonna show let me know if you think that i should um show this hold on this is really bad. I mean, I can't believe how negatively I spoke to myself. Basically, I went on a date, right? And this is what I said to myself, if I could find it. Hold on. Wait, where'd it go? <laughs> it's so negative. And the funny thing is, is like, I'm, I'm very... But I never gave up on myself, guys, no matter how low it got. Wait, where'd it go? Oh my gosh, this is like kind of sad that I can't find it. Give me a second here. Okay, I can't find it. Basically, what I feel that I know will resonate with a lot of people. Basically, what I said in the episode, I said, um, I was like, okay, I'm, uh, I'm going on a date right now. I'm going on a date for this guy to tell me that I'm ugly because I, it was really terrible. I can't believe I would say that. Should I leave that in? I don't know if anyone relates to that. Like, I feel... Ugh. Man, people are going to, but the, the, see, the reason I'm comfortable with sharing this is because I'm not there anymore. And I guess I want to share it just to show that it does get better, right? I don't know if anyone was ever in that state. Like, I was in such a negative state. I can't believe. Wait, but where is the clip? I really want to show you guys. Um... Wow, I can't find it. I'm sorry. That's disappointing. Wait, actually, no. I can find it if you just give me a second. I don't know why I'm showing this. Because, like, I still need to edit. Huh. That is weird. No, it was the, the scene with the RX bars. Hold on. I know I, like, sorted through it. Did I? Huh, I don't think I did. Where did I put that whole scene?